show immediately after each and every broadcast. This will be done via the email and will be found in your inbox. For the small price of only 50 United States dollars, you will receive almost 20 hours of raw information, knowledge, research, and scholarship on various subject areas and topics that are necessary to be addressed at this time. In addition, all subscribers will receive our monthly video lecture series, which has a value of 20 United States dollars. They will receive the video lecture for free that is related to the month that they are subscribing for. To subscribe, call or WhatsApp 1268 728 3162 or email chrisisaac27 at gmail. Dot com. The Mystic Vibration is a program that is every Monday to Thursday at 6 p.m. sharp Eastern Caribbean time on Radio Anno, Radio Anno. And again, blessed love to one and all. Give thanks. Definitely you're into the shock of the hour right here on the Mystic Vibration. And as I said this evening on the shock of the hour, we're going straight into that subject area dealing with the conspiracy to destroy the black female. And um, of course, you know, a few, a few evenings ago, we definitely touched upon the conspiracy to destroy the, the, the black boys. And of course, that was a very interesting and, of course, um, um, informative discussion, reasoning that we had there. And the good brother that made his presentation was, of course, extremely dynamic. So as I said, now this evening, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be reading a specific letter here, the one of the Willie Lynch's letters. And this letter is dealing directly with the, the female the black female, the winches, you know, the black slaves, then, if you want to call them that. But of course, you know, we're just saying that so you can understand where we're coming from. And as we mentioned, where we're coming from, or of course, you know, this is Radio Anu. Anu is Antigua. RadioAnu.com, the international flavor, the universal spice. So where we're coming from is, is um well we're coming from El Kimelan, we're coming from Africa. You know, but we're coming from right here out of Antigua. And so people that are saying, well, you know, Willie Lynch never existed. Willie Lynch never existed. Imagine that. Willie Lynch never existed. Well I can tell you straight that we have all the evidence right here to prove to anybody in the world that Willie Lynch existed and existed right around here too. That's why I write in Antigua, I can carry you to Willoughby Bay. Oh yeah. Right here in Antigua, I can carry you to Willy Keys. Hmm? And all of that is in the same region. Who do you think they were named after? Come on, Willie Lynch. In fact, those of you who are coming down for the 21st day of December, you may see these same places that I'm talking about. 
we had really rich had plantations and slaves so i don't know what's going on with some of you but I'm telling you, the reality of Willie Lynch is here. And I mean, and even if Willie Lynch didn't exist, trust me, Willie Lynch exists. Oh yeah, because what Willie Lynch, even if he was a fictitious character, what he stands for is well in motion today. And it took a human being to put it in motion. So whether his name was Willie Lynch or Lynch Willie or John Smith or Andrew Graves, I don't care. It's Willie Lynch. He still exists. But the Willie Lynch character as a real a real freak okay now <clears throat> take the female run a series of tests on her to see if she will submit to your desires willingly test her in every way for she is the most important isn't that she is the most important as it relates to the good economy good economics if she shows any sign of resistance of submitting completely to your will do not hesitate to use the bullwhip on her to extract that last bit of bitch out of her. Take care not to kill her, for in doing so, you spoil good economics. When incomplete submission, she will train her offspring in the early years to submit. To labor when they come of age. Understanding is the best thing. Therefore, we shall go deeper into this area of the subject matter concerning what we have produced here in the breaking process of a female nigger. This is Willie Lynch words here that I am reading for you. So I think it's clear what he has in mind. You know, take the female, run a series on, of tests on her, tests. A little subject now, guinea pig, rats. Run some tests on them. See if she will submit to your desire willingly. Test her in every way possible. She is most important for she is good economics. Yeah. And if she shows any resistance, you know, do not hesitate to use the bullwhip. You know, don't hesitate. Don't even think of like, maybe I shouldn't go for it. It works every time. And most of the time and ex ex exact extract that last bit of beep out of her yeah. but hold, hold, hold on huh take care not to kill her oh, I almost did I see that one more lick and she'd be gone I stopped you right in time Take care not to kill her. For it is in doing so you spoil good economics. And you see, I give thanks for those who, you know, observe the videos, especially when we put them on the YouTube. You know, we give thanks and all, you know, everything. But I observe, when we did the series, as it relates to the economic situation with the black nation, a five-part five part series, and we put up four parts. We left out the fourth part and put up part five. And as I said, you know, give thanks to those who have 
taking the initiative to watch it and comment on it. I'm very thankful for you, for sure, man. Definitely. Those who have not, you know, had the chance to look at the series yet, you should. The Economic State of the Black Nation, part one, two, three, and five. They're on YouTube. Maybe one day we'll get to put a part four. Just check it out. You know. <laughs> what I'm saying is that I observe that, you know, sometimes you see, okay, that's the subject. Some people have the interest and some don't have the interest. Okay, everybody's not the same. Everybody's not the same. I'm not trying to say you should be the same as me and whoever. And seven women shall take hold of one man. Hmm. Up the charts. Pass the views gone, skyrocket pass um, the, the economic state of the black nation. Because people want to hear what you're talking about in this one here now. <laughs> yeah, seven women shall take hold of one man. I want to hear this. <laughs> yeah. That's why we don't put titles to grab, you know. We just tell you what's going on. I mean, as you want you want people to listen, you know. Of course, I mean, obviously, you want people to listen. But this ain't no game. Why am I saying all of this? Why am I saying this? Take care not to kill her. For in doing so, you spoil good economics. Economics. This is what's going on here. Economics is what's going on here. The building of an empire is what's going on here. And in the building of the empire, this demon is telling the other devils to take the females and run tests on them. Economics he talking about. You, know? you think he just wicked and evil? And boy, these white people? No, there's more than that. Run a series of tests on her. Submit. And don't hesitate to, to, to crack her with the, the chains and the, the, the you can, anything you can get your hands on. Bricks and sticks and stones. Dip her in the river upside down. Anything. But don't kill her. Don't kill her. Thou shall not kill. Who? No, man. Money I talking about. Not even money. Economics. When in complete submission, she will train her offspring in the early years to submit to labor when they come of age. Understanding is the best thing, therefore, we shall go deeper into this area of the subject matter concerning what we have produced here in the breaking process of a female nigger. So it is clearly showing you that when you know, when in complete submission to you, she will train her offspring to do the same, you know, be in submission to you. That then the you is the, the other, the other kidnappers he's referring to as the you. And they, and they will teach their offspring to be laborers and whatever else we want them to be. Can't you see what I'm saying here? So all you got to do is get the female. Don't worry about the brothers. Get the female. And when you get the female, you have it made. This is what I'm trying to show you. And then you could talk about, yeah, all right. The next level now we're going on to. Hmm? The main thing is that when you have her, you have basically the whole family, you know. Well, for sure, you have a next generation, so you got it. Even if the man is rebelling, 
you know, that's all right with him. He can do what he wants because she's bringing a new man. She may bring a couple new men and she's bringing some new females. So, I mean, you could see and she's going to train them to be subservient. No, no try to run away business here. We have reversed the relationships in her natural uncivilized state. She would have a strong dependency on the uncivilized nigger male and she would have a limited protective tendency towards her independent male offspring. I would raise the female offspring to be dependent like her. Nature had provided for this type of balance. We reverse nature. We reverse nature by burning huh, and pulling one nigger apart and bull whipping the other to the point of death all in her presence by her being left alone unprotected with the male image destroyed the ordeal caused her to move from her psychological dependency to a frozen independence state. In that psychological frozen state of independence, she will raise her male and female offspring in reversed roles for fear of the young male's life. She will psychologically train him to be mentally weak and dependent mentally weak and dependent not being psychologically strong but physically strong wow. because she has become psychologically independent she will train her female offspring to be psychologically independent as well what have you got you've got the nigger woman out from the nigger man <laughs> this almost sounds like the third part of the conversation we were having and seven women shall take hold of one man and of course if you didn't get anything from the part one and part two this is not part three but it's it, it, what i'm going to get to you see what i'm talking about but if you didn't get the essence from part one and part two well, your mind might still be off the, the chart with the understanding of the science of the subject area. For example, what Willie Lynch is saying here is very interesting. He's saying, obviously, first of all, before we get to the real interesting part. So I'm sure you're with me. I'm sure you can follow where we are. You know, if you're just joining the program. I mean, if you're just joining, I mean, don't feel no way, but you shouldn't be just joining. We, we got at 6 o'clock, 6 p.m., you know, every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, right here on RadioAnu.com. You know, the international flavor, the universal spice. But I'm happy that you're here. But of course, we're dealing with the breaking of a female, the breaking of the black woman, the breaking of the black female, Willie, Lynch, Ch Willie Lynch's letter. And he's running some tests to see how she cooperates. And if she can't cooperate, we're going to douse her with gasoline and do all kinds of things to her. Beat her with bull whips and, and, and dig holes and cover up and make the ants eat her in the face until she says, help. Yeah. But we ain't going to kill them. We need them alive. We need these uh, winches alive to do the work and to bring forth more little niggers. So they can be subservient unto us and she will teach them well after we deal with her good. You know, in a, in a walnut shell, that's what he's saying there. 
you know, they'll train their offspring to submit at a very, very early age. Ras, that's what's going on today. You don't, you don't reach three months yet, you can't carry your baby to SpongeBob and Winnie the Pooh. Huh? Everything we talk about. Maternity leave is up. Three months after, you carry the baby for nine months and now three months after you start to carry it and put it in the hands of all sorts of strangers. By law, okay, you gotta go back to work. We don't even reach theirs yet. We're just dealing with this letter straight up and then we'll we'll expand all of that. The breaking process. The breaking process of a female nigger. So now listen to what I'm saying here now. Please listen to what I'm saying here. Nature, this is what he said. Nature had provided for this type of balance. What type of balance is he talking about? He said, in her natural state, because he said we have reversed the relationship. In her natural state, she would have a strong dependency on the uncivilized nigger. And the black man he's talking about. In her natural state. Natural. You know what natural means? That's the way nature intended it to be. And he said that in her natural state, the woman. In, in the natural state, the woman, the black woman, he's specific, specifying here, in her natural state, has a dependency, meaning that she depend on the man. So how do you know that? Is that so? Is that so, um... Honorable brothers and sisters that are out there listening. Is it so? Is that the reality? You can comment, you know, um, um, for those that will be viewing this specifically on the, the internet as well. You can comment, meaning that in the comment, is it natural? Is it by nature for the woman? <laughs> To depend on the man. Well, of, I, I mean, we all see it with other animals for sure. In the animal world, the in in the vast majority, you know, depend on the male for one reason or the other. Strong dependency. You know, we see that within the the lion kingdom. Well, I mean, all cats are hunters, whether male or female. All of them are hunters, eh? And you see the female lion go and, you know, get the, 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 the meat in the vast majority of the time. And of course, the male eat first. And they, they actually they give no fuss. They just sit back and make the male eat first. <laughs> and then go and eat after. You know, that's how lions operate. You know, the lion hunts as well. But the vast majority of the time is the, the, the lionesses that go out and get the food. You know, but usually, you know, in the animal kingdom, when you study owls, you study eagles, study animals. We study animals. We study them, the different, you know, animals and the predators. You know, there are many times where you see both mother and father hunt. Like in the case of certain owls at night, as you know, they hunt frogs and, and certain fish together to feed their young. But then you have other cases where um, uh, uh, the male go out and do the hunting. Penguins are mystic. Penguins, at certain times, the male penguin will guard the egg while the female penguin go and get the fish. Maybe she may be away for months and then she comes back a whole heap of them come back. They return and then he goes out for months as well just to swallow some fish and come back and regurgitate it for the newborn chick and all of that. So nature is a mystic thing. What goes for one set doesn't really go for the other set. You know? But it's obvious in, in the vast majority of cases, there's something obviously about the male that is standing out. The size, you know, the, the dependent, the, as I say, that dependent nature in some senses of the female and the male. The male is definitely the protector of the female in many cases, in almost all the cases. 
certain frogs the female is way bigger than the male but it's not usually so with other animals and i'm saying all of this you know because we're reasoning and we're educating and this is not fluff talk we're trying to reach somewhere here with this discussion what he's saying that it is the nature of the woman to depend on the man i want to know if that is true because obviously she's an independent woman. That's, that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to make her independent of that man. So he has to do all them things. Beat her, rape her, burn her, scorch her, almost kill her, almost drown her, electrocute her, do her all kind of things. So she can separate from him or uh, dependency of him i don't need no man yeah and this is what i'm saying remember we were speaking in seven women shall take hold of one man remember in that discussion we were talking about that whole concept there listen to what willie lynch is saying here nature provided for this type of balance how you know that who tell him that <laughs> Are they equal? No, but, eh, we reverse nature by burning and pulling uh, one nigger apart and bull whipping the other to the point of death. All in her presence. Back to economics. Remember when we were speaking about the Congo? Those of you who um, watched the, the economic state of the black nation, we were speaking about the Congo if you didn't see it. And we were also showing, we didn't go to the depths of it, but we showed the whole concept of the rape that is taking place. Rape in war is a, a part of psychological attack. You know, it, 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 it attacks, it, it's, like a, it's like guns, it's like ammunition. It's a part of the strategic aspect of war to rape a whole nation and to rape the woman and, and let them, you know, become subservient to you subservient to you so i'm just showing you that because of such now so what we have they 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 they've been killing them bull whipping them burning them pulling them apart all in her presence and listen to what billy says here by her being left alone unprotected with the male image destroyed Hmm. That is so mystic. The ordeal caused her to move from her psychological dependence, um, dependence um, state to an independent state. Now, you see that. So he say now, because of all of this, you know, because of this seeing that her, her male counterpart or her male uh, not counterpart really, but her male partner, pardon me, yeah, I have a male her male partner is being destroyed right in front of her eyes. You know? And when she was being raped, he couldn't do anything to help her. Why is she with him? Why is she wasting time with him? And at the same time, the same master that is at least feeding me. The same one that is burning him and scorching him, he's forcing me to submit to him. Well, it's better I just submit to him because he obviously has all the power. And this jive turkey here can't do nothing. He can't even save me when I'm in trouble. He can't even save his own skin when the master comes down on him. Huh? And so now the reality is here with us. The reality is kicking in. So that is the case here. And she will, she will raise her male and female offspring in reverse modes. Wow. The male like a stud and strong and, and, and but the female independent. Don't be depending on no man. Now, when we did the seven-woman, one-man program, 
we definitely took time to explain the whole concept. Remember when we went through Isaiah 3, it was showing you that all the great generals and chief, they have fallen on the battlefield. They've died in war. Even though they may not have been dead, they were still dead depending on what age and time we were speaking about. So the woman in Isaiah became rebellious, not even the woman, the daughters of God, you know, the daughters of Zion in Isaiah chapter 3 became rebellious against Zion itself and started to expose themselves. Their secret parts were discovered. Read the book. Their secret parts were discovered. This is Isaiah we are speaking of. And it is showing you now that even at that time, what was really taking place is that because of the, 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 the staff that they were leaning on, the rock that they were leaning on, which is represented by, again, the male figure, which have all fallen in war, which have died on the battlefield, those that were killed, those that were murdered, they represent the, uh, the rock, the stronghold, the pillar, the provider, the protector, the defender, the teacher. All of that is what they represent to the woman. But over time, they've been brought low in her sight. And then they're even taken out of her sight. All the great ones have gone. And only the those that are not capable remain. So now she has become a different woman. She's now moving on her own accord. She's not taking no instruction even from him. She has no time for that. Yeah. She's an independent woman now. I wear the pants in the family. That's when the man used to say that. But then as I said, even prior, there was a time when the woman had to put on the pants. Well, she didn't really have to put on the pants, but the putting on of the pants was very symbolic of the role that she took up. And she had to take up the role. And the role that she took up was the role of basically both mother and father working two jobs and all of that to raise some of us and that is the reality so it is clear now as i was saying again in that documentary clarifying it that the woman putting on her pants you know at that time was very symbolic of her taking a role that was not really her role but i applaud the woman you know you actually must applaud the woman of that time that took the role, not of putting on the pants, you know, but took the role of defender of the family. So as the defender of the family, she put on the security, the, 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 the security outfit, you know, she, she became the breadwinner of the family. So she put on the breadwinner clothes, you know, some of us, we religious and we burn fire. And when I say religious, I don't mean resting all in the churches and we burn fire. Yeah. But that's the point I'm trying to make and, 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 and put to you. And I've lived to see many young ones that, that don't even know who their father is taking care of their own children. And they're telling you, man, I'm giving them what they need because, as you know, I never got what I needed. You know? So you can see still the time is changing. But the point is that what Willie Lynch is saying here that you must run test on the woman and see how she submit and if she doesn't submit go for the bullwhip and beat her to the brink of death but don't kill her and i'm going to stress the point again because she represents good economics and representing good economics meaning that if you get rid of her you're definitely spoiling the money flow. So it is very important now to make sure 
that she has become independent of the male because it is her nature that's what Willie Lynch is saying it is her nature that means God make her so according to him it is her nature to be dependent on the man so that means then if I'm to get this right it is not the nature of the man to be dependent on the woman am i correct i just want to know remember you could leave a comment too because i want to know that is it natural for a man to be dependent on the woman or is it natural for the woman to be dependent on the man because that's what he saw and that is what he uh, intended to reverse because he did reverse it So now when you fast forward to a time like today, that is why again the Isaiah chapter 4 will come into play. Isaiah chapter 3 and chapter 4 will come into play. Because while he is burning and ripping the black man in front of her, remember that was a part of the plot. That's what he says in the letter here. That is not just beating her. You got to beat him. And you got to beat him. You got to burn him. You got to kill him. You can kill him. But in front of her face. Well, try not to kill him. But if he has to die, we can, you know. But make sure it's done in front of her face. In front of the faces of the other woman too. You know. And then, you know, take take the choice ones and have your way with her. In front of his face. Make sure she sees that he's seen that. You know. All of that is just working psychologically over time. And it just comes now even down to the sheer cropping days. Right here where I am. Remember this is RadioAnu.com in Antigua. This is 2018 that we're recording this. Um, I think about 50 years ago. Maybe less. Hmm? Yeah, in the colonial days. If for some reason the... Uh, this is after emancipation. If they, for some reason, at the factory where they were grinding the sugar, uh, the sugar cane, and to make sugar and whatever else, and rum or whatever else they were doing. If one of the brothers was suspended from the job, for him to receive the job, he would have to come back to the master with his wife. And both master and wife, in some cases, would give him several lashes. So his own woman would beat him in front of the workers. Not no long story I'm talking about. You. I'm talking the yesterday story. <laughs> yesterday story. Yesterday story. Right here in Antigua. In the West Indies. In the Caribbean. Not too long ago. A few, a few sunsets ago. Several full moons ago I talking about. You lose your job at the factory. You got to bring the madam. And the madam will take the same bull whip. And you know you can't try and hit him soft. Because I mean it's a bull whip. And we will know. And maybe that's why sometimes the master say. Okay let me get a few. Yeah to make sure you get it. But that is. I mean. Oh my. How would she look at you now? after whipping you several times and maybe at home you had to smack her a few times not had to smack her let i take that back i don't usually take back words that's not what i meant to say you don't have to knock no woman uh, you definitely don't but you smack her a few times ho oh, oh, you know psh, 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 shut up you know <laughs> yeah and now she get a chance she can wail you behind your on your back yeah, and the side too. Maybe some of them took, you know, you know, a lot of joy in doing that. Oh yeah, now it's my time. Because you remember we were coming out of the depths of slavery, you know, man. And the same thing they did a brother against the brother. They would have a brother, uh, they would tie one brother to the tree and let his own brother, when I say brother, I mean brother, you know, man. Make his own brother with him. 
and then send them home together as if they don't know, as if they don't know what that would do to a family. What kind of madness is that? It takes some strong people to understand what is carrying on and how we're going to move on from here with this kind of situation. And remember, you know, they're out of slavery. We're supposed to be independent. Well, that time we were not quote unquote independent, but it was still the colonial rule, but, but, but the shackles and chains supposedly were gone. So bringing, bringing the wife to the scene is exactly what was seen in the letter. Remember that is the whole understanding there. You're bringing the man to a certain state in her presence. And basically, you know, that's what I just said. It, it would take a strong sort of, uh, a strong sort of uh, spirit to can go home together and clearly understand how to function together after such an experience. That is what I'm saying, you know, because she doing that psychologically she has already begun to look down on you in the same way as i'm saying she was looking down on you when she was being raped by the master in your presence in the same way that she saw the master burn you and, and tore you apart in her presence wow so now at this time now, in this modern day time, this, this time, this natural time now, up to speed, up to date, up to time, you still got to get whipped by your wife to get back to work. I mean, the point I'm making is people that went through that, they're still alive in a man. That's what I'm showing you. Some of them fellas that get whipped by their wives and their wives still alive. Give thanks if they're still together, man. Don't feel no way, you know. I'm not disrespecting no family. I'm just showing you the reality of the the the, the willie lynch syndrome and how it has been put into place to make sure we are a people that stay under such a condition you know basically forever for lifetime so this is a serious thing my brothers and sisters and if we're dealing with the understanding of oh, not just the family structure and the understanding of the woman and the understanding of economics, we got to understand, comprehend, understand, overstand all of these things here that we are now speaking about. This is how we have to look into it. It is very important. And since we're dealing with psychology, this is why, again, even the psychology of the sister is so key. And I must return again. This is really almost like part three of that reasoning for real. I got to return again to the reasoning on the seven women and one man. It was a whole psychological thing taking place in Isaiah chapter three and chapter four. There was this whole psychological, you know, nobody around no more. The, the, you know, my father is gone basically and my strength and you know, I got to just do for myself. And, since I'm doing for myself, I'm just going to be myself, you know, the guide, you know, that, that the reins, that, 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 that strong support, even if he was right there, even if he was right there, he was not there, you know, and remember in Isaiah, the, the case at the end of chapter three was, she was lamenting in her gates, you know, mourning. And then Isaiah 4 begins with that, in that the seven women shall take hold of, of one man, you know. And I'm looking at the psychological understanding of it, you know. I'm not trying to bring back that subject. I ain't going into that polygamy talk again. We already gone through that. I'm looking at the, the psychological um, understanding of the position of where the woman is, especially if Willie Snitch is right when he's saying that that's her nature. Well, if, if, if that is her nature then, to depend on her man, well, she definitely looks upon the man for security. Security is a key thing. And when you, when you appear not to be able to secure the woman, it's, it's, it's just dread. 
the outlook is always going to be funny anyway whether you like it or not and that is the case you know? Isaiah 4 and 7 women shall take hold of one man saying don't worry about nothing we will feed ourselves clothe ourselves that's a, that psychology working there this that's a mind that's a state of mind working there that's a frame of mind that's an experience that we have gone through that is speaking there that now we understand man. we get the story we get the picture now we get the picture now because you see that woman was beaten out of her several hundred years ago and continually beaten out of her continually beaten out of her until now she has become who she is now you know just the isaiah chapter three you know but the the woman before willie lynch is now coming back in after certain tribulations and trials have passed through and that's the same isaiah i'm talking about so you can look at the situation today though it is very serious the man and the old school system is set that way set that way specifically the job market is set that way anybody out there that is looking a job you know you know how it is and looking to hire the pretty young girl and all of that i'm not saying you don't have the credentials to get the position that you have please don't get no feel oh, feel offended but you know that it has been set up that way you know? but give thanks for understanding now that we are in a time when we are looking to reverse all of this uh, enslavement that has come upon us that's why we like to talk about solutions now you see this you see this here i mean this is this needs education this needs education number one just speaking about this what we are doing here right now what i am doing here what we have been speaking about for the last 40 plus minutes that's education on that subject most people don't even know this so how could they change from what they 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 so you know their habit then their in-ground habit the habit they've been born with because it was in their four parents before them beaten into them so it was like a second nature remember that's what the killer said we're reversing the nature we're reversing the nature so they can raise their their boys in one way and raise their girls another way huh? so what i'm trying to say now it is important for us to edify each other and that is what uh knowledge does it cushions the mind it strengthens the thought this specific subject area is very key you cannot attack it without knowing the subject area without reading the letters to understand what the maniac had in mind when he was doing all his brutal things and seeing how it plays out even to a time like today that's what I'm talking about. A time like today, what Willie Lynch was doing then is alive and well today, today, right, right now. That's what I'm saying. So brothers and sisters who are edifying us, please don't stop. Continue to do your work. And, and don't get too religious. Every now and again, you can talk about what you think is the true way and the true God and all of that. Nothing wrong. That, all of that smoothly. I mean, you can talk about it all day, day long too. But also bring forth information that is that no one can deny. No one can dispute to edify the people. Because even no matter what outlook you have, you, know, you can still bring facts that nobody can dispute some people just get caught up because wow we hear what he say wow nobody can deny that you know his thing must be the thing but this man can say something to that nobody can deny that mean his thing is the thing no but it just means that the information is out there knowledge is out there and we are seeking knowledge i will encourage my brothers and sisters man read books 
read books don't be no like a youtube student man read books youtube is area kind of way you know? but you gotta search for proper material i mean there's a lot of man you know how it is i don't want to go into that now but read books man re-edify yourself yeah. re-edify yourself and those who are around you as well yeah man we are a broken people we are a torn people that's why I do the Tiger's Nest program. We are people that need confidence. We are people that need to, to regain our self-esteem. You know, we are broken people, you know, man. That's why even within our own structure, we don't take care of ourselves. We don't love ourselves. You know, we don't understand ourselves. We don't comprehend and understand each other. Yeah. Most brothers don't really understand sisters and, and believe it or not, vice versa. Yeah. Don't understand each other because all of that is taken out of the curriculum. Nothing about that in the curriculum at all. Nothing about it's not important. Figure that out when you get old. <laughs> yeah, too late. Too late. Some sisters don't even understand their own cycle their menstrual cycles mothers don't even tell them that and when it happens they feel they're bleeding and they get cut that's what happens you know when we don't communicate well, a people that has lost their culture that is us robbed and spoiled from who we really are you know so i would just love to see us get serious and just move forward with this thing you know continue to edify don't worry it's 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 it's, it's, it's the ship is sailing on Continue to edify those around you, those in your reach, those in your community, you know, continue to strengthen each other in the way. For this is a serious, you know, upliftment and uprising amongst the people. Those who are not ready for it, it's just going to catch you like a wave. Believe me, it's not, it's not you, you know. It's going to catch you like a tsunami, the uprising of a specific people. So you're on board or you're not on board, whether you conscious or you don't believe in that, or that you that ain't got nothing to do with it. When the tsunami come, whatever you believe in or not, you gotta make up your mind if you're on board for this new uprising of these people here. So that's the idea. Rastafari. I don't remember now. Where you going? No going over here. We just begun. That was just part one. We're going to be going now into the whole science of, um, we'll be going into the whole science of um, sonic geometry, sacred geometry specifically. And that will definitely, as I said, previous program, we actually, well, we didn't really have the program previous night. so. This is why we'll be definitely making up with a double edition, even at this very moment, a double edition of the Mystic Vibration. As I said, dealing directly with the sacred science. And we'll be dealing with the science of shapes and numbers, harmonics and frequency. Number 144, the number 108. The number 1080, uh, 1080, mm -hmm. number 432, all of these specific sacred numbers. You know, we'll be dealing with the, the so called Fibonacci series of numbers as well, you know, and, and, and that is coming up right now as we deal with what is known as the, the sonic geometry, you know, as the, the, the language of frequency. And as I said, that is specifically uh, for those who would not have received the mystic vibration previous night. So we're going to go straight into that. This is a short mini documentary that I'm going to be presenting to you now. And I'm telling you, you know, you got to sit and listen to this properly and you will be inspired. I'm not asking you. Once you sit and take in the information that is coming to you now, you will be inspired. Now remember, this is the mystic vibration and this is the shock of the hour. And again, I'll remind you, uh, I'm inviting you all to subscribe.
to the mystic vibration subscribe to the shock of the hour it's very easy all you have to do is contact your good brother um, of course area code one two six eight seven two eight three one six two or you email me priest eyes at 27 at gmail.com and let me know that you want to be a part of the monthly subscription and for those who don't know about it you know what happens you receive the mystic vibration the shock of the hour um, after every program you get a copy of the program a recording of the the shock of the hour specifically for your own use you know your archives your library if you missed the program you know once you are a subscriber you get every program within that month frame so i'm definitely inviting you all to you know subscribe uh, to the mystic vibration as we continue to grow together and flow together in this endeavor to you know strengthen our people in our doings and say so we're going straight into the second part now of the mystic vibration shock of the hour i wouldn't even waste no time I want you to sit and listen to the information coming here now. The sonic geometry, language of frequency, some serious stuff. I give thanks for your presence with us, Mystic Vibration. Them 
Who's Isaac is an angel, yes, he's my angel. Trot on the banks of the gully. Isaac trod it through the hills and the valley. Trod it through the town, through the bloody city. Highly, 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 always with me. Highly, 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 I protect me. Highly, 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 I would never leave.